because this, the crypto, this bear market is where you make it in the next run. Crypto so with more crypto gains. What's going on guys? A little more OG crypto wisdom. Sorry about the sweat, just getting back from the gym. So, what is today's wisdom? Today's wisdom is, what is my biggest lesson from the 2020-2021 bull run? That is, now that we're in a bear market, what are my reflections of what I would have done differently in this bull run? Let's get to it. So, I had HODL positions and I participated in DAPs from the bear starting in 18, okay? And I never, rarely traded more than 25% of my portfolio. I had those long-term positions, okay? So, and then all of a sudden, everything went parabolic, and I had those blue chips, and I made it. I made it. Not island money, but I made it. Um, Primarily on BNB's rise, that was that was my my best play. Uh, Matic also was was good, but enter DeFi summer. Oh man, DeFi starting in 2020. Oh man, so DeFi started. I started flip flopping all my positions around, and I forgot the roots of what made me wealthy in this bull run. And that is holding the blue chips long-term. Um, yeah, that's it. But DeFi started, I started flipping stuff around, changing positions. Um, we had the May crash, which, you know, most people lost about 30% of their portfolio in the May crash. And then we pumped back up again and it was kind of a false pump, it was a double top. And then, you know, we were down again. Meanwhile, rugs, crap tokens. Uh, I mean, the list just goes on and on. But summing it all up, I look back and I had ETH at 100 Fifty dollars, okay. I had ETH at one hundred fifty dollars. If I would have just kept those core positions, I would probably be better off today from all these shenanigans. Now, I'm not going to say I made recovery money in DeFi, you know, um, but the lesson was is that I had perceived opportunity costs. And I got shook out of my core positions. You know, at one point I had a thousand ETH, and like you know, I kind of whittled, whittled a lot of that away. I still have some primary bags, but you know, the reality is I over traded because I had these perceived opportunity costs. So what's different now, going into the new crypto summer, crypto winter? in this bear market. That is, when these blue chips go on sale, you have to hodl. You know, I talk about this in some of my other OG crypto wisdom, and you know, the reality is, I got shook out of a lot of my positions because of DeFi. Um, and DeFi is great, but it should have been an allocated portion of my, you know, my portfolio, and um, just, holding those positions a little stronger and believing in them. Now, my strategy moving forward is I will have a hardware wallet dedicated to my HODL accumulation positions because this, the crypto, this bear market is where you make it in the next run, okay? That's where you make it. You know, everyone is revenge trading, leverage trading, getting rugged. And the reality is, remember how I talked about the, the time frame. You know, you honestly, you need two solid cycles 
to get island money if you do it conservatively and not, you know, not going crazy and buying crap coins and stuff. So the takeaway from today's video is going into this bear market. This is where the next set of 100,000 heirs or millionaires make it, or you go from seven digits to eight digits, um, you know, just depending on your position, if this is your first, second, or third. So, you know, hold on to those blue chips, look at your portfolio and say, hey, what makes sense to hodl into the next bull run? It could, it will likely take two years minimum, but have confidence that if you're accumulating at these prices and DCA down, then, you know, you're going to make it. You're going to make it. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, this is Crypto So. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.